also that that's one of the reasons why people can we can be reluctant to do Brother's Keeper because it's like I won't tell on you if you don't tell on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you see that? Uh, I suspect that's the strongest uh, deterrent to Brother's Keeper because at a deeper level <clears throat> you know you can't Uh, you can't do that unless you're willing to play in that league yourself. <clears throat> so that's why we, in, in terms of dealing with Brother's Keeper with other people, sure, we want other people to like us and we don't want to catch all their flack and everything else, but uh, one of the big reasons, uh, that's why we <clears throat> couch it or try to make it as supportive as we can when we do it. But the, the real question is, uh, the real issue is that losing control. See, it's like um, if I <clears throat> put, say, Brother's Keeper at this level, then I can now deflect anything below that level. If you, if you come back at me at a, a deeper level, I can deflect that. But if I, if I really practice the Brother's Keeper, then I certainly am, I am essentially saying to you, look, that's the way I am. I'm helping you. I expect you to be helping me at the same level. And now <clears throat> people are going to make you look at something that you may want not want to look at. And how can you how can you deflect that, you see, once you've opened up the the whole issue. I really think that's one of the real problems that we have with Brothers Keeper is the whole concept of control. That um, we don't want to give up control of our lives. It's the same way we do. We can try to control our environments. We try to control other people, our families, um, because um, we don't want to lose the control. We don't. Uh, you know, the, the thing about the truth is, as I, I so often say, is once you know the truth, you can't unknow the truth. You can't go backwards. You can't, if I'm here and I learn the truth, I can't go back and live back here anymore to a different level of truth. And I think that's the thing I really want to focus on in here today <clears throat> because I think clearly, uh, I, I hope you see this, that our, our whole success is going to depend upon the regions. Now, it may not appear that way, in the day-to-day -day operations of the school, but if you really, the whole thing, Hyde is a preparation for life. And no matter how successful Hyde may seem to be right now, the real uh, measure of success is where are these kids 10 or 20 years from now? And as you know, you've heard me say so many times, if you <clears throat> get the Hyde concept, we don't know of a case where the kid didn't get it as well. But if you flip that over, and you don't, when the parents don't get the Hyde concept, I know very few kids who get it, who really get the concept, who live their lives according to uh, the principles, the whole concept of destiny, who really do that. See, so it comes down, and, and I think if you think about that, I think, you can, I think you can see how that is logical. Hyde School is not going to come in at this age, uh, the age of these kids, where their character, the foundation of their character has been formed, sense of purpose has been formed, all of these things, and make any major changes in that structure. All we're going to, all Hyde does, is draw out what is there. Lots of times there are conflicts between your lifestyle and your, your, your values, your character uh, in the family. And, and what we do is help you draw out what is most important. What are your true priorities? If you think about 
a lot of things that Hyde does, that's what it is, is to help you really define <clears throat> what is important to you. And, uh, and of course, uh, to the people who are here at Hyde, there is a, a high expectations, a larger sense of purpose uh, in people so that uh, <clears throat> the kind of things that we talk about are rooted in uh, your families. So I think that um, so that if our regions are not really being successful, if they're not practicing the brother's keeper, let's put it this way, the level of brother's keeper that is being practiced in the region is the normal level that the kids will take into life, not the level here. If you think about that, that should make sense. So you see, if we really want to look 10 years down the road, look at the region. Don't look at Hyde, because that's going to give you a better indication of what the kids are actually going to do. So how do we get, uh, as I understand it, you all recognize that the level of Brothers Keeper in the regions is not really anywhere near what it should be. Is that, am I correct in that? <laughs> that that's your feeling? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to take leadership to change it. And the leadership is really going to have to come out of this room. Uh, and uh, so I, I want to talk about that. I want to, what does that mean? I'm hoping that before this seminar is finished today that some of you are going to be able to be ready to step up to those leadership roles. And that's not something that you actually have a lot of control over, but there may be people sitting here who might be ready <clears throat> for that kind of a step. And uh, if so, then it might be something that could help uh, the parents uh, over the weekend uh, by your example. Uh, now, 